great big capital Q love. I like it. I love the word queer. Look, I love the word queer. I like it. I like queer. I enjoy it, yeah. I love the word queer. A community of people who stick together. Part of it was the um, reclaiming of what had previously been a slur. But the biggest thing for it was the inclusion, the inclusionist nature of it, where it covered everyone. It feels like a, an umbrella that fits everybody without being exclusive. Queer can be all-encompassing. It describes not only the community but me very well. Um, being not only queer but um, a part of the disabled community. I find it empowering to say that I'm a queer woman. Um, I think a lot of the time when I say that I'm bisexual, um, people think that that excludes trans people or that it excludes non-binary people and that is so not true. <laughs> it explains me perfectly and it makes me feel like I don't have to be normal. I can just be. We're here, we're queer, it all rhymes. <laughs> when I was very young it was considered a, a derogatory word but as I got older and we got more involved with uh, the queer community as I would call them now it became a much more empowering word and also a word that encompassed a lot more. So lesbian and gay were very specific things um, and often didn't come up everything that was going on in that community. So I found queer an easy fit. And yeah, I still do. I like it as a, as a sort of empowering, encompassing word that doesn't necessarily make judgments about what or who you like or what you're into. That suddenly you had this one word that could do all this amazing work and in fact even Q could do amazing work because back then it wasn't a conspiracy theory level like it is now. And I really like the fact that that's why you get all those, um, you know, Bendigo Queer Film Festival, Melbourne Queer Film Festival, like all these queer film festivals were kind of that time because that word suddenly became a thing. That you're part of the LGBT community. Queer to me is a a happy word. I see queer as just something different and I like my difference. I like to celebrate difference and I like to celebrate the difference of others. I think it's a great sort of, you know, the acronym is ever growing and it's becoming ever more of a tongue twister. So um, saying queer is quite useful um, shorthand and it's also a really good umbrella term. Um, I'm quite aware that for some people um, it created a bit of trauma through their um, experience growing up and so I'm, I'm quite aware of that. But I still think it's really important to recognise that for quite a few older people in the community there's a lot of real trauma associated with that word and a lot of real bullying um, that they've been through and Acknowledging where, and accepting when people don't want to be referred to that way and respecting that because it's very real, the suffering that it's caused over the years and I think it's great that we've reclaimed it. I think it's great that women have reclaimed slut and, you know, all those sorts of things, but you still have to acknowledge that there are nuances to those conversations and just because you've reclaimed a word doesn't mean that everyone in your community has. I perceive it as different to what people would normally see each other, but it can also depend. So. It's an interesting word. I, I just find it encumbers, I think, <laughs> I think everyone's queer, you know, what is normal. So I think it's just an encumbersing word that just covers the spread of humanity. <laughs> so Can't encompass a whole pile of different things. Um, I'm a bisexual man, but my identity is as a queer, a queer person. Um, so I love it. Great big capital Q, kind of <laughs> tatted on my back. <laughs> <laughs>